Thank you for listening to Thoughts Roundup. Nice to be with you. Hope you're having a great day or night whenever you're listening. I was reading some time ago, in fact is it was several years ago, about uh, some of the old cattle drives. You know, the man said, I don't want to read uh, any books that a man's written more than he's read. So in my writing books, oh, I try to keep up with, keep my reading ahead of my writing. But I was reading about these cattle drives. And those cows, they uh, got to the place that they, they trusted the drivers, the cowboys, because they uh, always had water and uh, they were just basically everything was thought out for them. All they had to do was move along little doggies. And so, but here's, here's the thing. This article or this book said that ever so often some upstart somebody that really didn't know what he was doing would take the cows and try to make a shortcut. They figured that if they would take a shortcut, they figured out how many days that they could save on the trail because they knew that the way they would like to go was a shorter distance than what the cows would have been taken around. And so they would take them a shortcut, hoping that they would find water. Now cows, they have to just have to have the water. That's all there is to it. There's not something you could guess about. And they'd turn them and take a shortcut. Well, the cows would go along with it because they trusted. They trusted the drivers, the cowboys. But then when they got time for water on this new trail, when he got time for water and there was not any water, Now the cows would go ahead, even though they were thirsty, they would go ahead for a while. But by the time their tongues got hanging out and they realized that there was no water going to be provided for them, there was no water where they were going. These cows started turning back and there was nothing that the drivers could do to stop them. There was, they couldn't whip them. They couldn't blow horns. They couldn't do anything. They couldn't run the horses right at them. Nothing would stop them. They were turning back and they always headed for where they last got a drink of water. Man, you know, I got to thinking about how that the churches are built and how that they have obtained through God's talking to them and 
impressing them and the past good pastors wanting to be sure that they was in the right mode, the right frame of mind, the right way to meet God. And here they have been like this for years. And new people come in. Revivals happen. People have little problems and trials and troubles, but they always overcome it. But now all of a sudden, here's upstarts. Guys that have never paid a price. They feel like that they can take a new trail. They just, just figure somehow or another they're going to make this shortcut and get ahead of everyone. And they're just going to have hundreds and hundreds or maybe thousands of people come just because They've changed up everything. Take no thought for the old paths. I'll tell you what, if you find yourself in a situation like that where you've been taken on a new path and it's just not right, it's just not, there's just not water there. Head back to where you last got a drink of water. Head back to where there's conviction and it's not all show. Just head head back. What is that song, that old song? Take me back. Take me back. Take me back to the place where I first found you. Take me back. Seek out the old paths. Not just because it's an old path, but examine what's the difference. God bless you.